One of my favorite stories at Global Wildlife Center involves the llama family. And the llama family is a very protective sort. You know, when one llama spits, they all spit. And it's not a common occurrence, but llamas do spit in order um, to defend themselves. And what they do is they regurgitate the contents of their stomach, which is really gross. And uh, it's, they do it, it's a group effort kind of thing. But anyway, my story involves um, a baby llama and some bison and a mama llama. And what happened was a couple of years ago, the tour called me out. Whenever we have a new baby that's born, I always like to go check on it and make sure that it's nursing properly and everything's going well. So I got a radio call that a mother llama had just given birth in front of the tour, which is really exciting. You know, it's, it's wonderful to be able to share in the wonder of Global Wildlife Center with our visitors and the wonder of a new birth. So it was really amazing that this whole wagon tour full of people got to see this llama being born. But what that meant was the bison were very interested in the food that was on the wagon, and so they started approaching the safari wagons to be fed. Well, this is right about the time I get out there, and the bison get distracted by this brand new baby llama that's still on the ground, still wet, you know, still, the mother's still cleaning the baby off. I mean, this is just a really brand new thing. And the bison are getting kind of excited because the baby smells, you know, different, and they're kind of snorting, and they're kind of stomping their feet a little bit. And I didn't really know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if they were gonna become aggressive with the baby and the baby wasn't able to get up and walk yet because it was so brand new. So I was a little nervous. So I radioed the tour and I asked them to pull off hoping that the bison would follow them. Unfortunately, they didn't and then my radio went dead. So I had no way of, of contacting any of the rest of the staff members. So anyway, it's just me and the llama and the mother and the baby and the bison and I am left to protect this baby. So the bison are getting closer and they're getting closer and the mother llama is hysterical. She's making a really awful noise and she's spitting on all the bison and they have great big green gloves that are coming off of their fur and they're getting closer and they're getting closer. And so, you know, me, big scary Christina, I jump out of the Jeep and I start stomping my, um, my feet and I, I'm clapping my hands and waving my hands and of course I'm not very intimidating to a bison so they keep getting closer and keep getting closer and the mother llama is doing all she can to, to keep, get them to go away but they're not really bothered by her spitting. So finally, you know, with no one to call for help, I was left with no choice but to just pick the baby up and physically remove him from, you know, harm's way. So I did, I ran over to him and I picked him up and I ran back to the Jeep and I was standing there and I had the I had the door open, so the door was between me and the bison, and I'm holding the baby. And as soon as I picked the baby up, it was like he found his legs all at once. He started kicking and screaming and calling out for his mother. And so her, the mother turns her attention from the bison to me. And I was like, oh, here it comes, you know. And so I'm holding the baby, and it's taking two arms to hold him. And the mother's coming closer. and there's nothing I can do to protect myself from the impending spit, you know, but close my eyes. And so that's what I did. I just, I closed my eyes and the mother llama walked up to me. I could feel her hot breath in my face and I was just waiting for it. And her nose touched my nose and she turned around and I opened my eyes like, what happened? And she started spitting at the bison again. It was like she knew the whole time that I was only there to try to help her. It was amazing. So cool.